Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Ramon Ventura and the title of this video, as you already know, is how to change your life in seven minutes. I want to share with you how you can know for sure that you're going to heaven. So the first thing that you have to know is that you are a sinner. Uh, I think you're kind of crazy if you don't believe that you're a sinner. I believe we're all sinners. The Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And what that means is that we've actually all have broken God's laws. The Bible says that there's none righteous, no, not once. So I've told a lie before, and if I was to be honest with you, I've actually done a lot worse things than just lie before. And so I am a sinner. And the first step is to admit that you're a sinner. The second thing I wanna share with you is you have to understand that there's consequences for breaking God's laws. There's consequences for our sin. There's a penalty for that. And the penalty for our sins is hell. The Bible says, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. It says, for the wages of sin is death. God makes a short list, and I believe it's a very good list. And he says, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So the Bible says that uh, actually all liars um, deserve to go to hell. And so that is the bad news. The bad news is we're all sinners and we all deserve to go to hell. But the gospel actually means good news. Glad tidings is another uh, word for the gospel. And so here's the good news. You don't have to go to hell if you choose not to. And you can actually choose to be saved. To be saved from what? To be saved from your sins and saved from hell. And so there's only one thing that you have to do. And the Bible asked that question one time in the book of Acts. And it says, and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved and thy house. And so that's a really important question. What must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved and thy house. And so that's the one qualification. It's the only thing you have to do to go to heaven. In John 3, 16, the most famous verse in the world, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So once you believe on the Son of God, uh, Jesus Christ, you then get everlasting life or eternal life. That's how you can know for sure that you're going to heaven. That's how you can change the course of your life. And so going to heaven is not based on your actions or deeds. It's, it didn't say be a good person, live a good life. It just says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The Bible makes this crystal clear. It says, for by grace are you saved through faith, what you believe, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. See, if you deserve to go to heaven, you can brag about it. None of us actually deserve to go to heaven. Therefore, we can't boast about it. That's why it says, for by grace are you saved through faith. And it's very important to understand that it's by grace. It's not something that we deserve. Nobody deserves to go to heaven. So that's why going to heaven is actually a gift. It says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And so going to heaven is something that's given unto us. That's why it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, because God loves you. God doesn't want us to go to hell. So he made it really easy for us to be saved. And so the one thing you have to do is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. He likens it unto a gift. A gift is something that you receive. And a gift is free. It doesn't cost anything. It, Actually, you don't have to pay for a gift and you don't have to work for a gift. And so if uh, you had to pay one penny or work one minute for a gift, it's no longer a gift. A gift is something that's given to you out of love. Uh, just like God the Father sent his son to die for you. And so but what we have to do is put all our faith and trust on, on what Jesus did. And actually Jesus Christ was God in the flesh. He was 100% man and he's 100% human. And he's also 100% God. And so he went through everything that you and I went through. He, he uh, 
he went through hunger, he went through pain. And when Jesus Christ came onto this earth, he spoke the word of God because he is God. And so what happened was that he spoke the truth. The truth gets you in trouble. The Jews, the Sadducees, the Pharisees, they lied about him, got a hold of him. When they crucified him on the cross, the Bible says he died for not for our sins only, but for the sins of the whole world. And so Jesus Christ actually had paid for all of our sins. When he died, they took his body off the cross, put it in a tomb. His soul went to hell for three days and three nights. Now, Jesus Christ knew no sin and he and he had no sin in him and so what he actually did in hell was he paid for all of our sins Jesus Christ on the third day rose again and if you believe that the Bible says that if you confess that to Jesus Christ that he will save you if you understand that you're a sinner you deserve to go to hell but Jesus Christ had paid it all and you, you you're putting your your faith and trust on what he did if you understand that and you believe that, the Bible says that you are saved. And so what you need to do when it comes to a gift is you actually need to accept it. You need to receive it. And so the Bible says, um, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You know, in Romans 10, 9, it says, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And if if we if you ask Jesus right now to save you, he will save you. And if you believe everything that I just showed you today, that we're all sinners, we all deserve to go to hell, uh, but Jesus Christ died for you, and that once you believe on him, he gives you eternal life. Once you put your trust on what he did, he gives you that gift of eternal life. Now he can never take it back. He can never, he can never take it away from you. That's how you can know for sure that you're going to heaven. And so let's pray if that's what you believe. And I'll just help you right now. And you just repeat after me out loud. Uh, Dear Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. I know I deserve to go to hell, but I believe you died on the cross for me. Please save me, give me eternal life, and take me to heaven when I die. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Now, if you believe that, congratulations. The Bible says that you are saved. And, you know, the Bible uh, teaches us that once you're saved, you're always saved. There's nothing you could ever do to lose your salvation. And it's important for you to understand that and to believe that. And so thank you for watching this video. I, I know I probably went over that seven minutes. But uh, God bless you. Have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.